As we are facing this vital mission, we are prepared to face challenges and will make tirelessly to maintain peace and order during the elections. We are exemplifying the dedication and courage that define the noble professions of ensuring our democ democratic processes remain untarnished. In trust in our hands today is the responsibility of safeguarding the very essence of our democracy. Our respected duty is not just a profession, it is a soaring commitment to our nation's principles. Our work is instrumental in preserving the integrity of our elections and by extension, the strength of our democracy. May we carry our task with honor, integrity, and commitment to our shared values. As the people to prepare to exercise the right to vote, let us keep our burning dedication to ensure that this right remains unassailable. With that, I welcome you all to the simultaneous event of the standout ceremony of Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan Election 2023 may hapon sa atong tanang ubihan Election, a provincial election supervisor, a very good friend with your provincial election state supervisor. Our very own provincial director, Police Colonel Giuseppe Gerdaldi, with his, uh, with our nine chief of police and four uh, municipal police station and one city, and two provincial uh, force commander of our provincial mobile force company. and all personnel of the Boston of Police Provincial Office. And we also have Registrar General Patricia Rubin Amata, represented by the General Colonel Ronaldo Tarayo, sir. Uh, from Police, uh, from Philippine Coast Guard, uh, Captain Anwar Vidal. Uh, Father Jomar Momo, sir. And from RMP 11 and Amicius. Uh, that's all, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And now for the turnover of forces and resources. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, we are request the following. Brigadier General Patricio Rubin P. M. Atatalo, Second Brigade Commander. Philippine Army represented by LTAC in Rolando M. Tarayo, Coast Guard Captain Anwar G. Ididal, Commander of Coast Guard, Police Lieutenant Colonel Reniel B. Rautrao, Deputy Provincial Director for Operations of DSPPO, Dr. Lorenzo E. Mendoza, PhD, CESO 5 SDS of Department of Education, Province of Davao Sur, for the turnover of forces and resources to be followed by the acceptance of forces and resources by Attorney Jennifer Ancla, Provincial Election Officer. Let's call the representative of Police Brigadier General, or sorry, Brigadier General Patricio Ruben Piamata, LTC Ronaldo M. Tarayo. Sir? to the uh, provincial election supervisor now, attorney Jennifer Ampla. To our provincial election supervisor, the 10th or 2nd brigade, we have a total of more or less 607 personnel with five uh, vehicles ready for deployment this coming Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan election of this October 13th. Now, let us follow Coast Guard Captain Anwar G. Enidal, Commander Coast Guard. To our provincial election supervisor, the Philippine Coast Guard. On our part, we have a total of 40 Coast Guard personnel and two capital ships. Two rubber boats, one Hilux. We are ready 
for deployment, this barangay, and San Tomiang Kabataan Protection 2020. Now let's call Police Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Villalotrao, Deputy Provincial Director for Operations, DSPBO. To our Provincial Election Supervisor, Attorney Ramirez, Ma'am. For Double Sword Police Provincial Office, with its National Support Unit, we have a total of 1,085 personnel and 66 uh, mobility to ready to deploy this Barangay and San Julian Parataan Election Deputy Dr. Lorenzo, let us call Dr. Lorenzo E. Mendoza, PhD certified SDS DevNet Province of Dago del Sur, duly represented by Jeanette G. Delosa, Sesso 6 Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Well, respect to the organizer of this event. For the Department of Education, we are very much honored to deploy our more than 4,700 teachers to serve the election or the barangay and the Sanguli Ankabataan Election 2023. Thank you, Brie. Thank you, ma'am. And now, let us proceed to the acceptance of forces and resources by Attorney Jennifer Angla, Provincial Election Officer. Good afternoon, everyone. Deputy Air General Patricia Ruben Amata, uh, duly represented by the Lieutenant Colonel Ronald Tarayoter. To Police Colonel Giuseppe Herralde, Provincial Director, Police Provincial Office, Dabo del Sur, Sir. To Captain, uh, Coast Guard Captain Anual G. Nidal, Commander of the Philippine Coast Guard, Sir. To the SDS of the Department of Education, Dabo del Sur, Dr. Lorenzo E. Mendoza, Cecil Fai, duly represented by Ma'am ja Janet Veloso, Ma'am, to Father Jomar, good afternoon, Father. On behalf of Comelec Dabo del Sur, comprising of the lone city of Digos and nine municipalities, I, Attorney Jennifer P. Ancla, Provincial Election Supervisor 4 of Comelec Dabo del Sur, humbly accepts with profound appreciation and gratefulness all security forces and resources to be deployed for the October 30, 2023 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections in our province of Davao del Sur. The acceptance of these resources is not merely an administrative act nor just a compliance, but a solemn duty. We understand the significance of this responsibility and we are dedicated in ensuring that these security forces and resources will bring about the success of the forthcoming electoral exercises. Again, our sincerest warm thank you to each and every one of you. My snappiest salute and mabuhay po tayo lahat. Thank you very much. Oh. Verbal instructions for our provincial director, all PNP personnel who will not sit on the back of the back. The relax up to the PNC VCD, the relax on the PNC table. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, for the information of everybody, to offer the goods and supplies for the respective unit on the RPSB, PPO, First Company, Second Company, RHU, RFB, South, Third and IB, Seventh and Third IB, PCG, PECO, please proceed at the Kapanayan Hall.